Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning. On our prayer request, Logan's friend Angel is having problems with both feet hurting. It's getting worse and he's afraid he won't be able to work. Uh, Crystal Elaine's brother Manny is in the hospital suffering from PTSD. Pray that they can help him get better. Crystal, do you, have you heard anything about your uh, brother, how he's doing? Could you uh, give us an update on him? Hopefully he's doing better. And uh, pray for baby Anya to be healed from leukemia and all her reports to be good and strength for her parents. And Jackie and Jamie's friend Richard had a quadruple bypass uh, this past Tuesday uh, morning. I pray that he's okay. And Jay, uh, Jackie and Jamie, if y'all have an update on him, let me know. It's been uh, quite a while. Um, Vente has an unspoken request. Kathy Mulligan's granddaughter, who's 14 years old, was diagnosed with anorexia. I uh, pray that they can help her. Beth's dad's home, uh, he's got home health care and is doing better. Joe's nephew passed away Thursday morning. Pray for comfort for the family. Jeff is in a nursing home now and having a difficult time. Pray things get better for him. The Ambrain family has an unspoken request. Rhonda Sutton's brother passed away. Please pray, pray for her and the family. Uh, GM is being bullied. Please pray that it will stop. Uh, JG is a home health nurse. She's looking for a job in a hospital because she wants a more reliable schedule. Pray that she can find one. Queen M has to have a te had to have a temporary hip replacement. She will need a permanent replacement in about two months. Pray she recovers quickly. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from Romans twelve nine through twenty one. Love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, share with the Lord's people who are in need, practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not over, be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. Okay, and our devotion today is entitled, Trustworthy Love. Why can't I stop thinking about it? My emotions were a tangled mess of sadness, guilt, anger, and confusion. Years ago, I'd made the painful decision to cut ties with someone close to me. Excuse me. <coughs> After attempts to address deeply hurtful behavior were merely met with dismissal and denial. Today, after hearing she was in town visiting, my thoughts had spiraled into hashing and rehashing the past. As I struggled to calm my thoughts, I heard a song playing on the radio. The song expressed not just the anguish of betrayal, 
but also a profound longing for change and healing in the person who had caused harm. Tears filled my eyes as I soaked in the haunting ballad, giving voice to my own deepest longings. Love must be sincere, the Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 12.9, a reminder that not all that passes for love is genuine. Yet our heart's deepest longing is to know real love, love that isn't self-serving or manipulative, but compassionate and self-giving. Love that's not a fear-driven need for control, but a joy joyful commitment to each other's well-being. And that's the good news, the gospel. Because of Jesus, we can finally know and share a love we can trust, a love that will never cause us harm. To live in his love is to be free. How have you experienced or seen a difference between sincere and self-serving love? How can a community of faith help us learn to love others wholeheartedly? Loving God, help me to learn the difference between real and counterfeit love and to share Christ's love with those around me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. And I hope to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.